Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Greetings folks, my name is Dustin Cormier and welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Today's, uh, today's lesson is on a song called Homemade Lady by Flood. Um, so Flood's pretty cool, I know a few of Flood's tunes. Uh, I love Cousin Mary, it's one of my favorites that I think that I know by them. Um, and they got that other one, and it sounds just like this one. So get up and get out and move on. I might do a lesson for that one later, and Cousin Mary I'm doing for sure. Um, but this will do for now. Uh, this is a song that I don't play too much. It's not a huge part of my repertoire. I actually just kind of got it recently uh, because I was going through these old videos of uh, me having played with Michael Tom and a bunch of my dad's buddies at a gym. And uh, this song was on there and I thought, what the hell, I might as well add it to my repertoire. There were no words, so I had to take the words off the actual song, print it all up, write in my own chords, you know? That's as simple as that, right? Um, <clears throat> so, boom, 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 boom. yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys this song, and then I'm going to show you a video of myself and my Uncle Tom and a bunch of my dad's buddies playing this song from a little while ago. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty simple song, you know, it's, um, one, four, five, basically, you know, walk before you run, a time's just begun, and you, so you look and see what you do. And then back to the first. Well, there's nothing. In. Blah, blah, blah. And then the chorus is E chord. Uh, it's like the fifth chord. And then there's like the seventh of the A. And then there's the fourth of the A again. And then there's the first. Fifth, seventh, fourth, first chord. Right? A is the first. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys know what I mean. So anyway, it's not your basic 1, 4, 5, but it's pretty similar to the same basic 12 bar kind of dealio. And uh, what I like to do to do this song, there's two ways to do it really, and it's probably better to do it. I've got this habit lately uh, that I'm trying, I should not have all the way time. So I always tell my guitar players that they should never have their finger like this. They should always have their finger stuck with, by the, out from the knuckle like that. Um, because it's bad for your fingers, it gives you arthritis and stuff in the long run. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Despite that, uh, what I sometimes like to do is I'll just bar my whole first, se my whole second fret of my uh, guitar uh, on the t to make my A chord. I have that high E string still up there, and with that finger barred like that, it gives me a bit of room to use my third finger to go to the fourth fret of the D string, because that's the sixth of the A chord. A is the first, right? No, Re, Mi, Fa, So, E is the fifth of A, and then F sharp is the sixth of A. No, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're basically going five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. The fifth and the playing between the fifth and sixth of the general chord, right? So that's the main thing throughout the whole tune. Walk, um, but yeah, sorry, what I wanted to say though is that what you should do, especially new guitarists should not get into the habit of what I just told them. I just wanted to get it out there because sometimes I do it. Use your first finger um, and your second finger. Uh, uh, first finger uh, on the D string, second finger on the B string, then leave the G string open. And then you can still use your pinky to go over that fourth fret of the D. Yeah. Something you can't buy for a dime. So you're looking to see what you do to me. Well, it's nothing. Uh, and I, I think they might. I think they go to the D seven there, but you might just do a D chord. I don't know. Well, it's nothing. And then 
the same, uh, you know, it does a solo there and then it kind of goes on. Well, you take all the money and you put it in a pile. And you stick it in the oven. If you need it, you're going to die. So you're looking to see what you're doing. That's the, the thing you kind of take, um, do the chorus twice. Uh, then there's, actually I think there might not have been that first solo, it's just that second one. Uh, and then you go, um, after that solo, <laughs> you go into the third verse. 